Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 of this series. We are tackling the bedroom today. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm having so much fun. So some of the places in your bedroom that you're forgetting to clean would be under the bed. My bed is so heavy, even just rotating the mattress is such a mission, almost a three-man job. So getting under the bed is just not something I think of doing often, as you can see. But being carpet, I really should be more mindful to do this more often because the dust bunnies build up so much under here. And because we're sleeping here and spending a lot of time breathing in this air, I want to make sure that it is clean air. It's amazing what you'll find under your bed as well. I found a couple of lost socks and a pair of undies and a pillow. Not to mention a stack of rubbish and a chocolate box, which I was very hopeful there was still some left, but no such luck. So as you can see, it's not an easy job, so that is probably why it's not on the top of people's list of things to clean. So this is underneath my dresser. It's not too bad because I recently did this when I was setting up for my home birth eight months ago. So. It's not too bad. So if this is the first time you have clicked on one of my videos, I just want to say hey and welcome. I'm Hayley and I'm a low-tox mummy. I pride myself in bringing motivational cleaning stuff to you and try my hardest to show you guys how to clean low-tox so that it's not so overwhelming for you because I know I was super overwhelmed when I first started the Lotox journey as well. So if you're new here, please let me know in the comments. I would love to personally welcome you and say hey, and I hope that you guys will stick around and join our little YouTube fam. I love meeting new people and I love inspiring you guys to clean your homes. So these power points are the one beside my bed which are behind my bedside tables which I never move as you can clearly see. So we're just giving those a wipe down as well. They were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air. I'm also giving the bed frame a wipe down as well that was covered in dust. I always do the headboard when I make my bed and clean my room, but I have never done the sides of the bed and that showed as well. They would be together. Ooh. And one day she said, write me a love song, cause I know you'll make it beautiful. Maybe I'll call you my sweetheart and promise nobody can steal me away. So this is another area that is going to affect the air quality in our room and that is right above our heads while we're sleeping. He looked at her and then he smiled, picked up a pen and paper, and started writing. Probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining. Or something cliche like Ooh. Now if you guys are here for a satisfying clean, Baby, you guys I watch this. You. I love dust because it's so satisfying to wipe it off and make it clean again. And then he said, I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful it's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know I 
As he sang, she started to dance, grabbed his arm and took Hello! Hi! Hi! Moonlight as they kept on dancing the aircon vents are always a satisfying clean. You don't realize how much dust is actually up there. And I just chuck them straight into the dishwasher. If you don't have a dishwasher, a sink full of hot soapy water will do. Calling each other sweetheart. I promise nobody can get in their way or steal the show. They're in love now and I wanted you to know. Now moving on to the biggest part of this room clean is cleaning the walls. This wall was so dusty you guys but this is so satisfying and I can't believe it's taken me this long to do. I just use this wet mop to get all the dust off of the walls and then if there's any spots that need like scrubbing that's when I get my pink scrub mummy out and get to work. There is nothing in between So baby we should start living now Cause we only have this life Wanna laugh and wanna cry I don't want This area is just totally destroyed by the dogs. This is where they used to brush past. I'm pretty sure it used to be Snoop, not so much Nala, but he would lean on that wall as we open the door and shoot down the hallway. And this is Nala's beautiful mess on the back of the door. When we have visitors, we put her away and that is the outcome. So you guys would have noticed that we only have one dog, so that is Nala. Snoop is our dog that we lost in October last year when I was eight months pregnant and it was the most horrific thing I've ever had to experience. So for some reason my camera just didn't record, so I actually recorded myself taking the curtains down but it didn't record. So this is us putting them into the washing machine. So this gets rid of a bulk load of dust. But not only that, it makes the windows look so much brighter and fresher. The dreaded blinds. I usually hate this job, hence why they never get done. But I picked up this shark steam cleaner off Marketplace for $20 and it has been the best freaking $20 I have ever spent. So now I'll be cleaning my blinds so much more often because it's actually so much fun and look how quick it was done. If you don't have a steam cleaner just use a spray bottle and a microfiber cloth and it does work as well really quite easily but this is just so much quicker. Just a minute, been looking for some help just to find myself. Yeah. So it's now day two of the bedroom clean. This was such a mammoth job, and I'm I am a mum at the end of the day, so my boys needed me. So this is day two. We're going to take all the bed sheets off and deep clean the mattress. Been waiting way too long. Oh, yeah, waiting. Just for somebody to love and to surround me and to handle my emotions. 
So to deep clean my mattress, I am doing this low tox obviously. Um, so I'm using some bicarb soda and some essential oils. My pick of the day is tea tree and wild orange. Wild orange for the beautiful smell. It's not clean until it's citrus clean. That's kind of my motto on this channel. And tea tree for basically deep cleaning and killing any bugs and bacteria that are in the mattress that we can't see. So once I mix all those together, I just use a sieve and I just put it straight onto the mattress and let it sit there for probably half an hour to an hour. I also do the same with the carpets because we have the same deal. We have bacteria and we have bugs and mites and whatnot in our carpets that we can't see so this gets rid of that and it also deodorizes so I call this my carpet deodorizer and it just smells so fresh afterwards. It's all been a waste of time. The aircon vents are done in the dishwasher so I'm just popping them back up. I always love seeing how clean they come up and it just, yeah, I don't know, gets rid of the eyesore in the room. Let me know in the comments if your aircon vents are something that you clean often or are in the back burner and never get done. So it's been about half an hour so it's time to vacuum off the bicarb and it's smelling so fresh in here. So I want to take a moment to create a little bit of community. If you're like me and you love these kind of videos and you're also a content creator, please pop your links down in the comments so people who love this kind of content and want to feel motivated can go and find some motivation on your channel as well. I'm a huge lover of supporting other people's channels and dreams and I love watching these videos. I could do it all day long. So head down to that comment box and look for some other channels to inspire you and motivate you. So here comes the steam cleaner again. I must admit I am totally obsessed with this thing. <laughs> but before I had the shark I was just using a microfiber cloth and a spray bottle with some on guard cleaner in it and some essential oil to brighten it up um, and that worked really well as well. Finishing off this room with cleaning all the mirrors, of course I'm using my steam cleaner. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Make sure you go and check out the previous two videos from this series and this is number three. And yeah, stay tuned for the next two that are coming this week. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and the notification bell so you guys know when these go live. I so appreciate you guys being here, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. I won't say goodbye yet. Can I change your mind? Cause I don't think we're finished until